My name is Justice Miwanda. I'm the executive director of IN Network Uganda. I'd like to share a story with you which is found in the Bible, but also which story resonates today. My grandmother told me about a baby who was born to a girl who was only 16 years. She could not look after the baby boy, so the best solution for her was to wrap this baby into a piece of cloth and take the baby to the grandparents' home. And that is how I started life as a three-month-old baby boy. I was glad that my grandmother was there to receive me. She could have left me by the roadside, but I was very fortunate that there was a home where I was left. In the Bible, there is a similar story about a boy named Moses. He was born at a time when all male children born to Hebrews were to be killed. But his mother tried to think of a way of preserving him and to save his life. So she had to weave a basket from papyrus. Papyrus is the weed that grows along the banks of rivers and lakes in Africa. It is very common in Uganda. And this mother had to put Moses in such a basket and she had to let go of him and trust that God would take care of him as he floated in the basket along the river bank. It excites me to read about the river Nile in the Bible. Which river has its source in Uganda? And that's the river on which Moses was floating. When you consider all the dangers that baby Moses was exposed to as he floated in his papyrus board, think for a moment about the challenges that are faced by the African children today. This is Brian Tumesije, one of the sponsored children under IA Network. Brian is uh, an orphan. He lost his father first five years ago, and uh, a year ago he lost the mother. And he likes football, what we call football, I think for you call it soccer. At the moment she, he's staying with a, a sympathizer. That person was a close friend to the family and before the mom died she asked him to look after Brian. This is Brian's guardian, George, who took him up after the death of the mother. His children are grown-ups and uh, some of them are alive, some of them died. <laughs> He wants children to be around, so he's taking care of his grandchildren. At the moment, they are eight in number. Of the eight children, three lost their parents. In our culture, after the death of the head of the family, the relatives decide on which child to take. Those families, even those who are willing, they are living under poverty. And in some cases, you find that you are not taking over an orphan from one family, but there is also another one from a different family. So in some cases, you find that the challenge is too big. So when the sponsorship comes in, it's a big relief to the family, and it's a blessing to these children who would not have maybe got a chance to go back to school. Brian, wanga mpozo ya gala kuberachi? He wants to be a pilot when he's through with his studies. And I know with the help and the support through the sponsors, he will be able to realize his dream. <laughs> 